for the new year. Thank you so much for that. And with that, we're gonna throw it over to Gelly for Manifold Garden. Hey, hey nerds. Uh, I'm back again with Manifold Garden. My couch, I got Vio and uh, Flapjack. You won't be hearing them too much. Uh, let's just get right into this. Real quick, if you have photosensitivity issues, I'm going to mention a trick called Flate, and I'm going to mark the beginning and the end of it. So if you have issues with that, feel free to do whatever you need to do in order to avoid flash and stuff. So uh, let's just get this ripping and roaring. Uh, time starts on save. So three, two, one, go. go. All right. So welcome to Manifold Garden. Uh, you may notice a couple of things from the get-go. Uh, one of the intended things is using gravity. This is terribly important as A, I can't jump, and B, falling is about five times faster than sprinting, so I need to make sure I, I get that going. Uh, the other thing is that this game is non-Euclidean, meaning like things wrap around in the X, Y, and Z plane. Okay, so this is a particular trick, which if I mess this up, it's a soft lock. So here we go. Hey, right on. First Whoa. Try. Fantastic. Okay. I'm doing this to avoid a, a flate, which I will mention later. Okay, so I need to bring these cubes with me to skip basically the entire game. Don't worry about it. So a wall clip is where I stand slightly away from a wall, and I can drop a cube in front of me, and hey, presto, uh, I've clipped through it. Now, taking the cube with me is a lot more difficult, but uh, uh, usually it's manageable if you're falling from a, a very tall height uh, because it tries to rubber band you through. So. To explain uh, exactly what I'm not going to be doing, normally there is a dark seed. There's, there's six dark seeds that you need to plant for six god cubes, uh, which are used to unlock a hub level for the final set of trials, the 800 worlds. Now, uh, as it turns out, uh, unlocking the dark seeds and the god cubes, that's all slow and vaguely plot related, and I like neither of those. So I'm going to do my best to skip both of these. So first, I'm going to be falling onto this door here. I'm going to need two cubes, uh, one to clip through and one to take with me through the end. So you can see there's a tree here. Uh, normally, what you do is you plant a dark seed on it, uh, which you get after activating a bunch of lasers and a whole bunch of other gubbins, but we're not going to bother. Oh, hey, I need the other cube. Oh, fantastic. Um, so once I get the, both these cubes over to the door, uh, we're going to execute our first flate. F-L-A-I-T. It's the best name ever. <laughs> uh, flailing like an idiot technology. <laughs> uh, it is exactly as technical as it sounds. Uh, and this is why I want uh, for you all photosensitives. Uh, I'm going to be whipping my mouse left and right like no other. So uh, if, if you're not a fan of that, uh, feel free. So I will, I will mention that when we get there. But this is effective for letting me clip cubes through walls when I, I normally shouldn't be able to. So. Uh, so my first clip is here. Okay, so here's a flate. Feel free to do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> look the sound effects it. help, definitely. Yes. So you may be wondering. Oh, there hey, we go. Hey, All right. Relatively fast. All nice. right. And then I bring this, uh, bring this cube with me. Uh, nobody understands how this trick works. Shout outs to Invive for making a trick that nobody understands how it works. Oh, hey, hey. He's oh. trying to pull it through the wall. Oh. Uh, I, oh, no. Oh, it's Okay. We got to back uh, up. We got to back up. <laughs> Everyone, avert your eyes, okay? <laughs> Never happened before. Uh, it's a normal cube. Hey, all right. There. First try. Yeah. Oh. That was supposed to come with me. That almost never happens. Uh, it got teleported to the nether realms. I don't know. Okay, so I skipped the first dark seed and uh, god cube. That's where you normally put it, and that unlocks like the next series of levels. Uh, all sort of gorgeous and, and whatnot, but... Uh, with this cube, we're going over to the door that is unlocked once you get all six god cubes. And if I'm particularly careful, hey, we're there now we... in the trial section. Nice. So this is the end stretch of levels here. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be taking all the mechanics that we definitely learned and, and uh, turning them on their heads. So uh, make sure to watch out for that. Uh, thankfully, uh, if you're looking to avoid spoilers, this is the one of like three intentional, no, uh, intended ways that I'm solving this puzzle here. And that's even particularly sort of. So uh, uh, you may be noticing how I'm sort of managing my ability to fall and so on and so forth. Pretty much every single turn is, is pretty carefully calculated in order to optimize my ability to fall instead of sprinting, because sprinting is slow and for nerds. So 
Uh, all right, so over here we're going to be going on to our second plate. This avoids a pretty lengthy cube manipulation puzzle with water, but it is also the worst trick in the run. Shoutouts to me because I find all the worst <laughs> tricks in the run. All the cool strats are found by Preshing, who has the world record, as he well should have, whereas I'm cursed, so, you know. <laughs> let's get this rip roaring. All right, plate begins. I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm so sorry. By the way, if I don't get this in like 30 seconds, Please let me know because. Oh, hey, hey, hey all right. Hey, we're good. All right, fantastic. <laughs> okay, plate is done. So, uh, come back, y'all. We're this is the good part of the game now. So, I'm going to be skipping uh, basically every single one of these puzzles through here uh, using the cube clip and so on and so forth and abusing very tiny collision things. So, for example, up here there's a door that I'm supposed to get up to. I'm just going to clip through this wall here and I can walk up this side. That's cool. Um, a lot of the other things are, are very similar, and since it's much more a visual experience than technical, I'm going to open it up for, a, for, I don't know, half a minute of donations. So. All righty. We have $10 from Ear Foxtrot that says, all the support with the Galleon Manifold Garden Discord. We're excited to see you run this game. And William Cheer has promised to live stream his reactions to your run. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> William Cheer, uh, shout outs to him. He's been developing this game since November 2012, and it came out October of this year. Worked very hard on it, and I think the result definitely shows. So uh, shout outs to him. Uh, I'm, I'm glad he's very supportive. They say, thank you for running this gem of a game. P.S. This game is about falling. <laughs> <laughs> you keep going. One more. Well, we have $100 from Papa Danny that says, loving HDQ. Good luck to all the runners. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. All right, so as I uh, skip this next puzzle up here, uh, I'm going to explain the, the legend of 806. Uh, 806 at the moment is a puzzle that we solve uh, intended-like. Uh, and that's because we don't know how to skip the ending door. Uh, a lot of these doors, you can't directly clip through them because they got weird uh, funky do uh, geometry on them. And so uh, for the most part, we find ways to get around them, like on the side there. But this door up ahead, we found no discernible way to get past it. If we could, it would save 40 seconds, as you'll soon see why. So there's a bunch of uh, minos, like, you know, a bunch of blocks together. And they're controlled by gravity, but their terminal velocity is absolutely dismal. So I have to wait for them to fall. So like right now, I'm currently manipulating blocks in a position there. Uh, there is a little bit of management that you can do by doing things while waiting for things to fall, but uh, that's minimum at best. So if you want to be the next uh, contestant on uh, destroying the <laughs> world record, uh, this is the first thing to look at. Uh, we'll soon get to the second thing to look at. So we're just waiting for the piece to fall here. Make Enjoy the ambiance. Oh. Bingo, all right. And assuming I don't mess nothing up, drop and... Oh, hey, I messed something up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it doesn't lose. If I mess something up, you mean slightly misplaced. All right. And we're going to make it to this door here. So this is the door. Uh, this door also potentially could soft lock us. Uh, bless RNG. Hey, no solid hey, portal. Right. We, we good. We in there. All right. And so now the next puzzle is the one we'd also like to skip. This is the only god cube that we unlock in the run uh, by getting a, a dark seed. Uh, we can actually skip the door. We can get past it uh, using the same method as we saw in the, in the introduction. Uh, unfortunately, we require the God Cube in order to unlock a building that hasn't appeared quite yet. So if you could find a way to skip that, that would be like a minute of time save because there's a required cutscene that we got to watch. Talking about that required cutscene, I'm intentionally taking a 15 second hit on a trick that I know works. Uh, if you make a save and a load, you skip a bunch of animations, which I may or may not be able to point out if I'm good at this game. Um, and if you make a save and a load, yeah, it, it skips the animation and you can pick up the cube instantly. However, there's like a 60% chance that it messes up the cutscene. And since I think the best part about this game is the visual acuity and how it looks and, and all that sort of stuff, I'm going to make sure that we see it right. So while I'm waiting and while we get to watch cutscenes, you get like 45 seconds of uh, uh, donations. Well, speaking of, we have $100 from William Cheer that says, yeah. Hey, GDQ, this is the Manifold Garden team oh, wishing good luck to Jelly on the run. Jelly on the run. Jelly, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's an honor to have our friend, our game featured in an event like this. Here's to a week of great runs, great RNG, and a great group of people coming together for such a good cause. Thank you so, so much for that. Much love. All right. Yeah, keep going. 
we have $100 from Solder J that says, first time donating to AGDQ, and what a better time from one of my favorite games, Manifold Garden. Best of luck to Gelly and all of your flates be best. Such a great name. It's just mem mesmerizing. <laughs> so fun fact I found out recently, William Cheer used to be a massive balloon sculpture creator. Uh, and it's sort of ironic that in this game there are like absolutely no curves where it seemed to be that he used to exclusively work with curves. So quite a, quite a change in direction. So now we're making it on our final sprint here. This is the God Cube. You get to see them in all different colors if you don't like skip the game like a degenerate, <laughs> but you know. Um, uh, as we make our walk, I'd, I'd like you to pay attention to the audio like right about here. Dragging a stick Thank along you the fence. <laughs> the best sound in the game. <laughs> Drops a sick beat too. All right, so we're, we're really heading to the end of the, the, the game here. We're, we're almost done. All right. So once I get up these, these stairs, I, I'm going to hand them into this building, which is apparently requiring the Scott Cube. We haven't found a way to skip that quite yet. Um, and I'm going to try to jump on the invisible collision using a setup uh, called counting. Oh, beans. Okay. <laughs> it's not counting. One, two. All right. <laughs> Hope it worked. Uh, and then by landing on it, I can just make my progress forward. Hey, perfect. Okay. All right. So now here's the last skip in the game. Shout out to Preshing. Uh, he found a way to potentially skip 28 seconds. I'm going to try to be very careful doing this. Hey, we got it. All right. All right. So I skipped a trigger that wouldn't let me flip gravity. And by doing so, I can just fall to the very end here. So I don't know how much falling I've got, like a minute. So this is my time for shout outs. Uh, first, for my personal shout outs, I'd like to uh, thank uh, Zet237 and Yajiji, Y A J I J Y, pretty sure, because um, they've been fantastically nice to me in my speedrunning career. As for the Manifold Garden speedrunners, I'd like to particularly thank Preshing, Invive, uh, Lilith, uh, RBD Jellyfish, all the people who have, have worked on this game since it's come out. Uh, I appreciate you. And for anyone I forgot, I'm so sorry. And uh, must thanks especially to William Cheer and his dev team for, for making this game. Time comes up when the kaleidoscope appears. Time. What time is that? Uh, is it 11.42? Wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, I'll make my time brief here. So uh, thank you all for, for watching, and I hope you all have a great uh, GDQ. All righty, great job, Gelly. That was an awesome, awesome run. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. We're gonna have a couple more donations here. We have $2 or $200 from Anonymous that says, looking forward to this Manifold Garden run. Thanks so much to all the runners, organizers, donators, and everyone involved in this awesome charity. Let's see that FF8 Omega Weapon Battle. Thank you so much for that. We have $25 from Focus Site that says, hey all, wishing everyone a good rest of AGDQ 2020. Enjoyed running at the event and hoping we break more barriers and walls and donations than all the runs throughout the event. Best of luck to Helix on their Super Monkey Ball run tomorrow. Super looking forward to that. Ooh, I am too. We're gonna go ahead and run a quick ad here and we will be right back.
Alrighty guys, welcome back to Awesome Games Done Quick 2020. We're gonna go ahead and jump into some donations before we start with Battletoads. We have $20 from Valentine that says, gotta donate during a really cool game that looks like a dream I had one time. Thanks for making my work day a lot more fun. Well, thank you for watching and donating. We have $25 from Grolix that says, nice debug console usage. Thanks for showing off Manifold Garden. <laughs> thank you so much for that. We have $25 from Sterlar that says, love to support the Prevent Cancer Foundation. We have $5 from Tyler Salt that says, donating for a blindfolded menuing in FF8, FFV8, because that sounds ridicul ridiculous and stupid and amazing. Good luck and GG to all the runners. Let's prevent some cancer. Thank you so much for that. And honestly, guys, thank you so much for these $5 donations coming in. Here at GDQ, we see a lot of comments saying, I know it's not much, but here's what we have. If you have anything you can give to us, we seriously appreciate it. Like, these small donations go a very, very, very long way. So thank you so much for all of this. We really, really appreciate it. We have $25 from C245 that says, first of many donations this week, two of my aunts were recently diagnosed with cancer, one of whom just passed away. Thanks to all the runners and everyone who helps with audio and visual setup and anything else at GDQ. You're doing a very meaningful work to contribute to a notable cause. Thank you so much and good luck to all the runners. Thank you so much for that. We have $25 from Ian the Prez that says, let's punch cancer on our way to the Mike Tyson's punch out. Incentive, thank you so much for that. We have $50 from Aoko that says, smiley face from the crowd. Give me some smiles, guys. Awesome games done quick, woo! Woo! We have $20 from BitDragon172 that says, I'm really enjoying this block. I added so many games to my wish list. Cheers to all the people who make this happen and let's defeat cancer. Thank you so much for that. We have $10 from Jim Jam 114 that says, first GDQ I managed to catch live in five years, so I want to do my part and donate. Thank you so much, and I really hope you enjoy the rest of the event. We have $10 from KDY. See you? I think I said that right. Yo, shout outs to whoever put the theme from Black Knight 2000 Pinball Machine in the music rotation. More please, first time donator. Thank you so much. And yeah, we're all, we're all jamming over here. We have $25 from Lisa A that says, shout out to my sick boyfriend at home watching EGDQ. I'll donate another 25 if you send Teddy some well wishes. Teddy, feel better and enjoy the rest of the event.
we have $100 from Skyclaw that says, I lost my uncle three weeks ago to cancer and I just had to donate. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much for that. We have $10 from Munker that says, my dad has a rare form of basal cancer, or basal cell cancer, and has only just started to get back into the office after an incredibly long recovery process. Here's to a cancer-free world and a speedy runs. Thank you so much for that, and I wish your dad the best. We have $5.